Oh. <laughs> hey everyone. What do you get when you take last minute planning, parking garages, and a full moon rise ahead? What do you get? Oh, you get moonshine. Nope, no, 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 not the stuff you're thinking. No, not that type of moonshine. We're talking light, luminosity, lux. You know, that big ball of light in the sky, especially when it's full, that moonshine. Yeah, all that and one goofy guy running around a parking garage in New Haven trying to shoot the moon. Continue watching to find out more. shots here. Uh, I'm not sure how well the mic is picking me up. There's a lot of noise down here. So my friends and I were planning a shoot in Rhode Island for the full moon rise and unfortunately none of us were able to make it in the end. In fact, I think just one of us ended up going. So if I still wanted to shoot the moon rise with the time constraints I had, I was looking at two hours. So I needed to get Chiggy, get a plan together and get moving. Two hours, find a location, find a subject. My only goal, a vertical object. Lighthouses were out because I couldn't find anything on the shore. I shifted my goals to New Haven. I don't do much urban photography or street photography. These are my own stopping grounds. Maybe it's time to pay a little homage. Using Google Maps and Sun Surveyor, I was able to put a plan together for the building I was interested in shooting. And this is where the parking garages come in. I found two parking garages that were in the exact right angle for me to be on with my camera shooting between these buildings and hoping that the moon would come up right between those two buildings. That was the plan anyway. Whether that happens, well, that's to be seen. There's a lot of room for error here. Quick planning, follow along and see what happens. getting excited for this shoot. I usually like to be in the woods, uh, but I could not pass this up. I was having trouble finding something vertical with enough height to frame the moon. I went to my old stomping grounds in New Haven, where I grew up, seeing what I could find. Your Wright's garage seems to be as as a near fit as I can get for the direction I need. I just hope I can get some of the moon. Maybe it may not be exactly what I planned and because there's just so much room for era in this planning. But if I can get close to what I imagined, I think I'll walk away happy. So there's about 15 minutes while the sun and the moon um, or above the horizon. And once that sun sets, it, it becomes extremely difficult to photograph the moon. After the sun sets and the sky begins to get too dark, the, the luminance of the moon is just so intense and the contrast of the sky makes it very, very difficult to make a proper exposure. Ooh, that's tight. Ugh. Second guessing my, my planning now. <laughs> Looking at that gap between the buildings there. Ah, don't know if this is possible. Let me get back over to the other side and see what I can do. All right, looks like I need to be at the other end of the park a lot to make this work. Um, hopefully. That's what it's looking like. So I need to be down this 
this area. I did not think the garage, the top level, was going to be this full. I should have realized it. Downtown New Haven, but... Wow, this is going to be tight. Yeah, I may have, uh, I may have been a little too hopeful with this. But I'm here. And I paid my parking. <laughs> I'm going to take a shot regardless. The low-lying clouds above the horizon are just not working in my favor. And it's going to be hard for the moon to cut through that. The forecast did show some, some clouds, um, partial clouds, but there's just there's so much density and smog in the in the lower portion of the horizon that I just don't see the moon cutting through. I think tonight might be a bust. I'm hoping that I may luck out and some of those clouds will dissipate and I'll be able to get uh, somewhat of a moon, of a full moon. Uh, in the meantime, maybe I can work on a few other images with these gorgeous colors in the sky. So, we'll see. Holy crap, I can't believe what I just seen. <laughs> Look at this. There's our moon sneaking behind the building and on its way out. I gotta get shooting. I gotta get shooting now.